Hey guys, I wanted to do a tutorial on how to beat Borderlands 3, the Mayhem 3. It is the toughest that you can play, is the hardest that you can play as far as the Mayhems go. And this is going to be on Slaughter Star 3000. If you have any questions about how to get there, I can comment that down below and let you guys know. It's pretty easy. Once you actually beat the game, you can actually do Slaughterhouse and mayhems and stuff so mayhem 3 is the toughest that you could play and in this episode i'm going to teach you guys kind of how our team beat it we had a team of three you can probably do it by yourself i would not suggest it i would at least do it with a team of two or three but i'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to beat it so in this episode i'm going to show you basically where we ran around where we stayed by kind of our hiding spot for when we needed it at the end of the game um, the guy that we had down below there was only one of us left and he basically had to hide in there because he was out of ammo could not get ammo enough so mia and another guy had to shoot from the shooting floor so i'm going to show you where you can hide that's very very good against enemies i'm also going to show you kind of the gameplay and how we played it what kind of weapons we used how we used our special abilities that type of thing and then i'm going to show you the boss that actually ends up at the very very end once you're about to beat it there's two bosses that show up so i'll show you that and then last but not least i will show you once you go down where to go to the shooting floor to help your teammates and kind of what you can do from the shooting floor to help your teammates so first thing I wanted to go over is kind of the guns that we used, the guns that I used in trying to beat this. You're going to have to use a bunch of different guns. There's some guns that don't work against certain enemies, and there's some guns that are exactly the same that do work against other opponents. So you're going to want to keep a wide range of guns in your disposal, and that means your backpack too as well, especially when and if you ever die and end up having to shoot down from outside the map i guess you're going to need some longer range weapons if you don't use those regularly so i wanted to start out and i'm using the flacker i am a 50 and i have the flacker level 50 the flacker is a really good shotgun that explodes basically when you shoot it and it's a really good gun throughout all of the levels but it's really helpful in the slaughterhouse 3000 the next gun i use is uh the breath of the dying and the reason i'm using this is because it has that corrosive damage on it corrosive is really really good in the slaughterhouse and that kills a lot of the bigger enemies so make sure you have some sort of corrosive gun i like the assault rifle corrosive because you could just send a lot of rounds down the field so anything that's auto great to have you can have two autos you just have to worry about your ammo if you have something that regens ammo then you know i would suggest totally having two rifles but make sure so you have something corrosive the next thing i have is my pistol is the external nemesis and this is a fire pistol it shoots three rounds i like it a lot because one it's fire and two the pistol is this pistol is really really good it's very very high critical damage i love this pistol i what i use is different each time but i love this, using this pistol the very last thing is an smg that is fire and not this it's basically a flamethrower and the reason this is important to use in a level is we use it to kind of sniff out enemies sometimes enemies get stuck in places or we can't find them so you can actually throw this smg out as basically a flame turret and it will chase down enemies you'll see in kind of a few points where I'm just lobbing it I'm just throwing it and that's to chase enemies down that we can't find or we even had a enemy glitched inside of kind of where they spawn and he would not come out so the flamethrower was able to go in there and kill him next thing is a shield and I'm using the transformer again just use whatever shield you you like whatever that helps but basically what the, the Transformer does is converts 100% of the, my shock damage into my shield. So my shields are pretty high all of the time. As far as a grenade goes, I would do something electric. I like the Stormfront. Uh, it works very well. When I started the level, I started with a pipe bomb, which is very, very overpowered. But they're going to nerf that probably here in a couple weeks once they come out with a patch. But yeah, the Stormfront, very, very good. It helps with deleting the shields of the enemies, which is big because they have some big shields. And this grenade does a really, really good job of basically depleting their whole shield so that you can just basically shoot them and drop them. As far as my, my special class mod, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just use what you can. And then, again, doesn't really matter for this what your artifact is. But I like doing this because I'm trying to get cash. And then the last gun I'm going to show you is the Expert here. And basically the reason I use this is because uh, when I died, 
at the end and you can go up on a shooting floor to help your your friends out and I needed a sniper to be able to reach some of the enemies so as having a sniper especially a shock one helps definitely in the end so here's the shitty thing so with mayhem 3 we do negative 70% damage with normal bullets plus 70% elemental damage however enemies take 50% less damage from normal bullets cryo damage radiation and corrosive so do I use any of my guns? basically yeah <laughs> I mean do you have a good uh, do you have a good shield gun? Yeah, probably not I have a grenade I can use that's electric Ooh, Ed, you should try the 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 that grenade. Stormfront. Not the pipe bomb, but the other grenade. Stormfront. Yeah. The Stormfront Storm grenade. Because if they're susceptible to shock damage. The Stormfront grenade is one of my favorite grenades. Like that was the one thing I would rock in Borderlands. Is there any place over here that we could chill without getting ramrodded? Well, actually, uh, I'm just thinking because if we die, we uh, go we go right above here, and we'll actually be able to help. So how do we? I hide don't know. Though? I mean, it's you could hide like up Ooh, here. Actually, yeah, and you can hide down here. Okay, yeah, we can try this. I mean, you can hide. You can, yeah, you can even hide up here. Where at? Up here. Oh my God. You just have to be careful though. <laughs> You just have to be careful though. I mean, it's kind of sticky back there, as in, like, it's there's not a lot of running room. You know? So. Right. I think this is actually a pretty good spot. Okay. I am the greatest. Um. Shields actually do, or shield guns, like, take their shields down fast. Oh my god, these guys are not taking any radiation damage. No. Those Stormfront grenades just knock out the shield immediately. I might have to switch over then from the pipe bomb. Yeah, 49s get wrecked pretty, pretty quick. You got him? Dude jumped right into my grenade. Yeah. I throw a grenade and he jumped right into it. That grenade does help whenever they're lit up. Take them out a little easier. Uh the sniper. How's everybody doing on ammo? I'm all using ammo a pistol, so I'm doing good. Shotgun ammo, I'm... This oh, good, conference call just goes through ammo like crazy. See, I think I'm regening ammo with my, uh... Shield. Ooh. Dropped a legendary. Yeah, our special is coming back really quick. I would say it to me, but I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna sell my stuff real quick. Uh, make sure you guys fill up with ammo and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna hide real quick. I'm gonna change a gun out. My SMG isn't doing anything. The fire one? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch it to the fire one. The one I have now is the Adapting Ripper, and it, it's, it does, uh, um, whatever it's called, but it's not working very good. Radiation. Going to the, the trusty flamethrower gun.
I hate when they die, they die upright. Yeah, because I still shoot at them and I, they're not doing any damage at all. Yeah, yeah. Because they're like, because sometimes you'll blow them over and they'll be on the ground but they'll still be alive and then they get back up. Yep. Yeah, that grenade shreds people in their shields. Yeah. I love that. And every time, every time I get critical hits, it replaces my grenade ammo. Nice. So. She basically have a. I'm just like throwing it. Oh right my now. goodness! Here's here comes some good people here. Oh shit! Yeah. There he is taking so much damage. Yeah. Uh, another big guy to your right. Quick, though. Yep, yep. In my special, I threw him. That's about it. Coming, coming. Yeah. I got caught on fire and I couldn't do anything. Gosh, where's your thousand of eggs? I, they're moving so fast I can't see them. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Uh. I'm in the back corner. Yeah, I definitely need help. I'm trying to grab you. I'm trying to grab you. Okay, I got you. I got you. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, don't got you. Damn it. Yeah, we're we're screwed here. Um, I would say hide in there. You can't. Mm -hmm. Unless Ed can save us. Ed's still left. Okay. Yeah. yeah, try to hide in that corner. We'll come and shoot from above. If you could get in there, stay in there. I can feel the power. I have so many legendaries out there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them. I have zero. You're probably going to get a really good one at the end then. Down it. They're gonna punish me for hiding like a little bitch. Out of grenade. <laughs> right back, Josh. I go get more ammo. Yeah, if you can get right in that kill box, dude, I can just catch them all. He's in there. Okay. All right, watch out. Watch out. I 
Oh, he's like critical now. I think he's like stuck in the bat black, isn't he? Yeah. Alright, my flame turret's back there messing him up, so he should come out soon. If he's smart. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. Excited. Good luck, Ed. Have fun. Uh, I, don't I don't see it. Think any of my oh my damage. god, there it is. Fifteen thousand XP for killing him. All right, onto the red guy. Get ready. Sixteen K. Thank you guys so much if you watched this whole episode i appreciate it so much if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up that will help me a lot so hit that red subscribe button if you like the content i'll try to be bringing more of borderlands content i have a bunch that i want to show you guys i also do live stream on twitch and youtube so if you want to watch me live stream over on twitch or youtube the links will be down in the description till next time slacker out